Dawson Geophysical is the largest seismic operator in the lower 48. Joining me now is Steve Jumper, President and CEO of Dawson. Hello, Steve. Hi, Quinn. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Now, you operate 14 crews across the country. Tell us a little bit about your services and how you help oil and gas companies. Well, Quinn, our primary business model is to help P&P companies find, develop, and produce oil and gas reservoirs. We've been in business 60 years. I've been a publicly traded company since 1981, and we've grown our company from about six crews in the early 2000s, got to a peak of about 16 crews in 2008, dropped back to about nine after the 08 crisis issues, and now we're back up to 14 crews operating across the, across the U.S. But our primary business model is not just to be a seismic data contractor. Our primary business model is to work with ENP companies and help them completely understand their reservoir, not just from a structural component, but what are actually the rocks look like and what kind of rock properties are they dealing with. And so the more efficient we become, the better we can help them minimize their drilling risk, maybe minimize their dry hole risk, and uh, help them be more efficient and productive in their operation. And while data acquisition crews are an important part of your company's success, so too is the deployment of seismic channels. Can you talk about why that's important? Well, the uh, channels that we use on each crew are actually the uh, foundation of the uh, seismic method. I mean, uh, in a very crude layman sense, channels are, are equivalent to, let's say, pixels on a TV, uh, HD TV, or pixels in a camera. Theoretically, the more pixels you have on the ground, the higher resolution image you're going to be able to create at the end of the product. In addition to that, increased channel count not only brings a higher resolution image, but allows us to operate more efficiently. If we have more channels on the ground, our ability to deploy the energy source, it takes two things to get a seismic survey, an energy source, and you have to record it. The more energy source options you have and the more channels you have, the more opportunity you have to be efficient. And so if we can handle larger projects, produce a higher resolution image with increased channel count, increased efficiency and productivity, then we've somewhat moved away from just a pure pricing model to a value-driven model, whereas what we're providing the ENP companies is a better image in a shorter cycle time, more cost-effectively, on a win-win. As their unit of data cost goes down, our margins go up, and so uh, channels are actually the heart of what we do. And on your recent Q3 conference call, you talked about increasing strength in the seismic sector, more specifically increasing growth opportunities at Dawson. Can you talk a little more about that? Well, I think there's several ways that we can grow our business. I think the first thing people are going to go back and look at is the overall channel count, I mean, excuse me, the crew count, the issue we've just talked about. There's a lot of questions about when do you deploy another crew, and early in my career, I think that was a very important metric. Probably the largest metric was uh, how, how many crews can you deploy. Over the last 30 years in the U.S. market, the crew counts actually come down dramatically from a number of about, let's say, 700 crews in 1981 to about 38 to 40 working in the U.S., yet the channel capacity has just exploded. So I think we've got growth opportunities in terms of uh, channel count. I think we've got a lot of growth opportunities in, in some of these basins we're moving into. We're very active in the Bakken, the Niobrara, Permian Basin, Mississippi Lime, uh, Eagle Ford of South Texas. And so I think there's some basin opportunities as well as just overall improved efficiency opportunities. But I, I think most of our growth we'll continue to see is a channel count growth on a go forward basis. The, the market's strong. Uh, uh, demands uh, or requests for proposals continue to be strong. Our order book is at its highest level it's been since 2008. Uh, and it's got a nice mix now of uh, client mix, project size mix, uh, geographic diversity, and size of projects. And so we're we're looking forward to uh, Q4 and on to 2013 with a lot of optimism. And talk a little bit about your Canadian office. You recently opened that. Yeah, that's a new step for us. Uh, in May of this year, we announced uh, that we're opening an office in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We've got it staffed well. We've hired a couple of people there that uh, have great industry reputations and people are proud of. It is a new entry for us. Uh, it, it, it's a tough market as any market is uh, to enter. Uh, we understand that. It's a very seasonal market. It's uh, short cycle season from about 
mid late November to early May I mean April late March something like that and so our goal is to go in slowly do it the right way uh, take our brand name into the market take our technology enter it slowly we hope to have one or two crews working this winter season which will start about the November time frame but we're excited about it uh, and we'll just see how it works out Steve, is there anything else you wanted to add? Well, I, I think we're excited about our business. Uh, I think not just uh, our particular company, but our industry as a whole. I think, you know, as we continue to see uh, maybe some pressure on commodity prices, I think the, uh, the need for our industry and us in particular to provide a high resolution image is going to reduce some drilling risk on behalf of the NP company is going to be extremely important. I think we're well positioned to do that. Uh, our equipment base is very strong, 167,000 channels company-wide, 168 energy source units. We can deploy multiple types of recording platforms. We're comfortable in every environment uh, here in the lower 48, hopefully in Canada as well. Uh, we're seeing margin improvement. Uh, if you look at our June 30, uh, nine-month numbers, our revenues basically were flat from uh, 2011 to 2012. Yet. EBITDA increased from about 15 million to 39 million. Net income went from a net loss of minus six, uh, six million to a net income of about 10 million. And so margins are improving. The revenue drops more related to reduction in our third party charges that we've talked about on conference calls and in presentations in the past. So most of it's you know true acquisition type uh, uh, crew revenue. So we're, we're excited. Balance sheet strong, 69 million of working capital, 12 million of debt. And, and uh, we like our technology and like our, our, our position and uh, our financial strength. So we're excited going forward. Well, we wish you continued success and we always appreciate your insight. And thank you for being well, here. It's always nice to be here and thank you for having me again, Quinn. Thank you. Steve Jumper with Dawson Geophysical. I'm Quinn Nguyen for oilandgas360.com.